Selena a brand new parakeet. And uh, I wish I had a film this in pet smart, but I forgot. So we got her her cage, or him his cage. All right, got him a brand new cage. So we're gonna take it out now and put it together. And he's over there in that fair box. He is a white parakeet and his name is Rico. And he's like a little teenager, so. <laughs> I'm, he's gonna be his companion or whatever. So yeah. Right now I'm gonna try to put this cage together really quickly because Rico has been right there in that little box, and I'm sure he wants to get out of it. So, tell him about your what you got. That's what. Well. Oh, and guys, I got me a new iPhone. I got the iPhone 12 Pro 12 thing. <laughs> um. So that I could have better video quality. Because uh, I do, uh, which most of you know, all of my loyal followers, you know that I um, record on my phone. Do my videos on my phone. And I hear the iPhone 12 has amazing quality. So I went on and got one of those. And yeah, so we've had a busy day. And I am excited about it. Now, he's all set up. Now let's put him in. All right, so we're putting him in. We're gonna do it very carefully. All right, so Rico's in. Okay, here we go. Spear. Come on, Rico. How do I get him out? He's terrified. You have to pick him up, yeah. There you, there you go. Hey, bud. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. What? Uh. <laughs> it's your new home. Oh, look at him. I think he's scared, guys. He's going to come on out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Should hurry up? He ain't going nowhere. He can't really fly anyway, so. He just flaps. Yeah, he'll just flap about, but he can't really get up off the ground. Oh. There you go, buddy. Shh. You are very nice. Look, he gotta get you to There you go, Rico. Hey, Rico. Welcome home, buddy. Welcome home. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Look at him. Oh, he got comfortable really fast. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Sincerely Legenia. Guys, we are in the month of March. And for me, that means some much needed spring cleaning. And I am going to start in the room of my house that I invite you guys in the most. And that is my kitchen. So right now I am at Walmart. Angelina is here with me today. And I'm going to go inside and get some things to help organize my kitchen drawers. I actually organized my cabinets and cupboards. Um, a few months ago, uh, I never was able to get to my kitchen drawers or nor my formal dining room. So I'm going to be doing that today. And yeah, I'm going to invite you guys along with me. So come on and let's start spring cleaning and decluttering the kitchen. All right, so I really want something, oh, something similar to this. Let's see for the drawers. We'll go across a couple of the drawers. So, <clears throat> I think I'll get this one for the silverware or one similar to it. Let's see. Let's see if they have any other options. I think these right here would be even better. Mm -hmm. And it's more reasonable price. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with these right here. These are rubber made. So yeah, I'm gonna go with these right here for our silverware. We need another one of those. And I have two drawers filled with um, 
those other containers. So I think a couple of these. A couple of these. I think maybe two for each drawer. Yeah. Two of these for each drawer. And then for like my measuring spoons and things, because they always get lost and caught up in stuff, get a couple of these. One for each drawer. Because I got my measuring cups too. Measuring cups, measuring spoons, those other little bitty cups. And if I don't need one, I can just bring it back. Alright, so that's what we're going to go with for the kitchen drawers. for the day Angelina and I are headed home right now I've got everything that I need to do my spring cleaning in the kitchen and decluttering as well so now I'm gonna go home and start on that process as well as film a video which you would have already seen by the time you see this video uh, I'm gonna be making some keto pork chops you guys are gonna love this recipe I guarantee it so all right let's go and finish this day up Hey everybody, so I am in my kitchen right now getting ready to start the decluttering process in my kitchen drawers. Now, as I told you previously, I have already had already decluttered my cabinets and things up here. I did that a few months ago because it was just getting way out of hand. I mean, we had tons of coffee mugs that we hadn't used in years, uh, tons of old plates and things like that that I just had to get rid of. So I did that a few months ago, but my kitchen drawers are a mess. Three of them in particular are a total mess. Um, these drawers here, let me show you. These drawers right here I have directly next to the stove. And these are the drawers that I keep my cooking utensils in. And I have them close so that if I need something, all I can do is just pull the drawer open and get it really, really quickly. It's easily accessible. Um, but you guys, they are no longer easily accessible. And let me show you why. Okay, first of all, let me just say, don't judge me. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I mean, look, I can't even get it open. They're, they're getting stuck. Look at that. Look at this one. Yeah, so <laughs> easily accessible is no longer even a thing when it comes to these drawers right here. And of course, and of course, we have the old trusty junk drawer that everybody has in their kitchen. Uh, this is ours. It is. Uh, another hot mess so I'm gonna be decluttering these today with the items that I got at Walmart and I cannot wait I need a little bit of organization in this kitchen <music>
deco. We've got a little bit of organization going on. And so guys, to tell you the truth, this is me. These are my two drawers, okay? Bit more organized. So this was my theory or my rationale for this organization. These items here are all the items that I use on a regular basis, like almost every single time I cook. So they're gonna be in the drawer that's housed closest to the stove. These are items that I use, but maybe not every single time I cook. So they're over here, all right? And believe it or not, I still have all of these items and I threw so many things away. And then I have so many items that I still keep and use that would not fit in these drawers. Until I get additional storage, I put those items over here, okay? Now, some of these things like this, um, more than likely, I'm going to probably drop those off at Goodwill or something. I have like, I don't know how many of these songs, and uh, I, I don't use all of these. I have so many of them, it's a shame. So, more than likely, I'm getting ready to pack these up and send them over to Goodwill or something because I'm, I'm not going to use all of these. So, that's that junk drawer is actually the biggest improvement i cleaned it out and um only kept of course items that we use which of course are our chip clips and bag clips and things like that there uh, this battery goes to one of my uh, kitchen utensils appliances that i use uh, my pens and markers for when i have to mark things on my freezer bags these are for the candles in the house um we are constantly, we're always running out of these because I'm always lighting candles. Uh, labels for my jars and things like that. And then of course my vitamins and card blockers and things like that that I usually take while I'm here in the kitchen. Got those. And then we always have cough drops in this drawer. I don't really know why we keep cough drops in this drawer, but we just have. So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave those there. And then of course tops and things to go on my seasonings and spices. Uh, these are the additional shaker shaker lids and things. So this drawer is the most improved, but I tell you what, my uh, kitchen utensils drawer, it, it will be a lot easier to find everything with everything being in these trays. And I do kind of have them spaced out quite a bit. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, this goes over here. So of course, like all of my tongs and things are right here. These are my spoons, most of my wooden spoons. I actually have a container that I keep my wooden spoons in. I cannot find it. I have no idea what I did with it. But as soon as I find that, all of my wooden cooking utensils are gonna go in that. So it'll be a lot easier to maneuver around once all of those are gone. But I gotta find it. I don't, I'm hoping I didn't throw it away because it was a, such a nice container. And then again, um, my measuring spoons and measuring cups and things are right here. Um, and my smaller measuring items are right there. And then I'm always using kitchen shears for something. And uh, so yeah, anyway, knife sharpener, all the things that I do not use on a regular basis. Um, most of the things, cause I always use these on a regular basis, but they wouldn't fit in this drawer. So they're over here. But yeah, that's it. This is my organization and I have to say I am really pleased with it now. It will be a lot easier to find the items that I need. All right, now on to the store to buy some spring decor. All right guys, my first stop is Marshall's today. Going into Marshall's to do my spring shopping. Looks like I may have to go to the home food store because uh, Marshall's trip. All right, so Marshall's was a bit Marshall's was a bit disappointing. So now we're gonna go to another store. We're gonna go down to Home Goods and see what they've got going on. So now, guys, we're at Home Goods. Let's go in and see what they got for us. fabulous look at this these are amazing these are gonna go in the formal dining room and then look at the price I am so that is a wonderful price for both of these so, oop, hope I don't break it 
So I'm gonna get both of these, and I think these are gonna go in a formal dining room. I do like this. I like this topaz tree. Fabulous. I don't know where it's gonna go, but I feel like it needs to be in our lives. And then I'm gonna also get this. This is gonna be, I'm gonna put this on the table. It's gonna be like a fruit tray or something. So definitely gonna get those. I did share with you all that I was wanting to decorate my home with pretty little accents of yellow. I don't want to go all out this time. I just want to put little traces of yellow throughout my home this year. Never decorated with yellow before in my life, but I want a nice soft yellow, nothing loud and like, ah, you know. So anyway, I have already been to Home Goods, got a couple items there, nothing really yellow, just a couple of um, decorative pieces. Um, I've been to Marshall's. Marshall's really didn't have anything. I just left TJ Maxx. Now I'm here at Ross. I'm trying to stay out of Hobby Lobby because when I go in Hobby Lobby, I spend entirely too much money. So I'm trying to go to some of the more discounted places this time for my decor to see if I can find something that will just um, um, be what it is that I've desired for my uh, downstairs space. So right now I'm here at Ross. I'm getting ready to go in and see what they've got here. Um, at TJ Maxx, I was able to get a couple of things. I think I'll do a haul before I get to uh, my decorating and let you guys see everything that I got. But I'm gonna go into um, Ross right here. And then the thing is, right next door to Ross, there is a Michaels. And uh, same thing, Hobby Lobby and Michaels, I spend entirely too much money. So again, I'm trying to shop at some of the discount stores so that I don't do that. Uh, I get in there and I just go crazy. So I'm gonna try, I'm hoping Ross will have the last few items that I want and uh, yeah, I can be done and I will resist the temptation to go next door to Michael's. <laughs> All right, so Ross didn't have really much of what I needed, so. I'm taking, I'm going to make one last stop over here to Michael's. Don't judge me. <laughs> something for my front door either a door reef or some type of door side something to put on my front door for the spring because I have nothing so that's really the last thing that I'm gonna be looking for everything else I am just gonna pretty much work with uh, oops I'm gonna pretty much work with everything that I already have so um, I didn't do too bad today um, as far as spending I didn't do bad at all um, but I don't want to spend any more because this was not in my budget but I do want a little bit of a change I, I'm enjoying decorating the whole decorating process I'm always looking for the next you know um, design idea the next season I'm ready to you know just incorporate some uh, spring fun into our home the winter decor has been beautiful but I think it's time to just change it up a little little bit so um, yeah I'm excited about this next coming week I'll be doing my spring decor and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me